Hey guys, Brandon here with Texas Plinkin. As you can see, we have uh, an array of some of the uh, rifles here owned between Ian and I. But uh, in this video, you know, I made an unboxing video with uh, this right here, which is, Ian, up here, up here. But uh, I made an unboxing video with this here. This is just my uh, Bushmaster uh, MOE battle rifle, uh, rifle, as they call it. This is just the 5.56 from Bushmaster. Uh, it came with uh, a bunch of Magpul furniture. I put my, uh, uh, this grip back on it. This is the one that it comes with. I put it on my arrow and then switched it. But uh, anyway, this is the grip and the stock it comes with. It comes with the MOE handguard as well. I switched that for a quad rail, put some rail covers on that. Just a uh, vertical, uh, vertical grip here. The MBUS rear sight also comes with it. Uh, what else? This is just a cheapo Amazon site that we're just throwing on here for now, just testing and plinking around, not too uh, concerned over the performance over it. And then we have a true glow uh, kind of elevation riser there just to get past that, uh, that front uh, iron sight. Other than that, that's pretty much it. You also get this kind of like, I don't know if it's Magpul or not, but it's like an enhanced trigger guard as well uh, from the factory. But anyway, that is it. And I just remember now while we were out here, I have not shot a, uh, a video of it actually shooting versus, or besides just the, uh, the sight kind of testing. And that was at the range where uh, you can't do rapid fire, but now we're at best of the West, so now we can. So we'll just kind of go ahead and run through here. Um, now one thing I want to mention though, actually, is I almost didn't purchase this rifle because initially when I was looking at the AR-15 market, it's almost like when there's too many options, it's harder to buy one. So I was in the market for an AR and I thought I was going to end up with a Wyndham with the lifetime warranty and all that. And whenever I was looking into Wyndhams, everyone was always saying the same thing about Bushmaster and that is they're not what they used to be um, and just the fit and finish isn't right on them. But then at the end of the day, an AR-15 is an AR-15. It's just the way that the way that they're spec'd out to be with the longer barrels, free flow hand guards. But a standard AR is really just a standard AR. Hasn't failed me yet. Um, so yeah, uh, anyway, and when something does fail, it's an AR. You can replace it. With that said, uh, the title of this video may be is a Bushmaster crap or something along those lines because I just heard too much negative about it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just run a few shots through it real quick. Uh, for ammo, not using the most healthy stuff in the world. This is 55 grain uh, full metal jacket from Toll Ammo. This is the cheapest ammo I could find store bought uh, at Academy. I don't even know what the heck they are. They're like five something maybe. Um, but yeah, obviously steel cased. People say shortens the life of your barrel. I don't know, maybe by the money we save by shooting that stuff, we'll get a new barrel later. It, I don't know. Um, but as long as it keeps on shooting, I'm not gonna care. So uh, we'll go ahead, give some shots, show you guys how it is through the paces here. Well, it works. What else would you expect? Uh, like I said, with all the bad negativity and publicity you would hear with the newer Bushmasters being not what they used to be or whatever for whatever reasons, AR at the end of the day is an AR. So this one right here, I ended up picking up. I think they retail for about a grand, but at Field and Stream, they had it for about 850. Um, and uh, I think at the time I got it, it was about 750 or so with the Magpul furniture. So when you could get them on sale, you know, at the end of the day, AR, Equipped some, with some uh, pretty cool stuff. This is nothing fancy. This is just a XTS quad rail, also $40. So this is a very budget oriented build, if you want to call it a build. But uh, anyway, moral of the story, I'm pretty happy with it. It's nothing too fancy anyway. But uh, so we put another mag through it. We'll put just a couple more rounds. I think I might have loaded 10 or so in here. Let's be tactical, walk to the target. Like I said, guys, there's just the Bushmaster MOE battle rifle. Not much to it, just a standard AR with some fun bits to it, but whatever you heard about Bushmaster, um, you know, I guess the best test is just the real world test and I've been happy with it. The only fit and finish thing I would complain about is when you do punch these rear pins out, man, this is oil to hell. Uh, when you punch these pins out here to uh, spread out the, uh, or to disassemble the lower and upper, um, the, front pin gets back in just fine if you if you take it out put it back the front pin will slide no problem the rear one for some reason it always gets caught on the upper hole uh, so you have to really really snug that down an AR shouldn't necessarily do that you just have to really clamp it on there and then push it in uh, that's the only thing but other than that AR-15 is an AR-15 so I'm enjoying mine 
Um, so just thought I'd make a quick video, just kind of, you know, putting it through its paces a little bit. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day.